the name of Jesus Christ by the number around this country. Souls receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Constantly being added daily throughout America and across the Atlantic and the South Pacific, regardless of where you are. This message is opening up people understandings more. I'm getting thousands of letters constantly. People who listening at this message in the 60s and 70s and 80s writing me and many of them have said the same thing. Where have you been all of our life? Many is writing never heard a message like this. We baptized a gentleman last week in Monroe, Louisiana. Monroe is about four or five and maybe six hours. I, I believe from New Orleans, who was a Baptist for 45 years, went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are grateful. One scripture says, this is the message. We are living in a time now that the human family have a strong dislike towards God. Whether they profess to be Democrat or Republicans, they have the same hatred towards God. That's right. They have took a biblical subject of homosexuality and made it a political subject. That's right. And now America and other countries around the world want to make it legal. I was listening over the air now. They said 70%, 70, 7 and 0. 70% of the people of America are for same sex marriage. And you know who's included in this percentage? Lord. You church people. Amen. Am I right, I said? You church people, you shiny nail preachers. Yeah. You cross-wearing preachers, you ponytail Christians. Yeah. You tattooed Christians. You Christians that got gold all on your teeth with a star on it. Right. And a diamond in your mouth. They condone it. So the devil more and more is making television programs that include the relationship with two men. The objective is to influence and cause everyone to be attracted and subduced and conned by the media. You that's in this religion called Christianity, yeah. you condone same-sex marriages. Some of you politicians that's fighting, there's a politician, I believe, in the state of Indiana. The governor of marriage, the governor? And he's standing against it. And he's getting pressure for Mary Ann. Don't misunderstand me. I believe the homosexual should be able to work in any place of employment. We're not talking about his or her skill as a doctor or a lawyer or a policeman or a contractor or an architect. No, uh-uh. We're dealing with an abominable behavior. Amen that have nothing to do with your architectural skill. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, have nothing to do with your painting talent yeah. or your ability as a uh, school teacher or one that teach theology and philosophy and homiletics and chemistry and uh, rocket science and all. No, no, we ain't talking about none of that. Let us make our stand clear. We believe the homosexual have a right to work in any company in the world and eat in any restaurant of the world and hold any occupation that is in society. Yeah. 
but we don't believe in the behavior of two men. Yeah. All right, listen. That's right. Brother Eli and Brother Black, come up here, brother, and stand right here. Come on, brothers. Stand right here. Facing me, you know. Or just to the side. That way you can get me in the camera. Now, you're fighting so two men can marry. Some of you pulpit bums are preachers. Go ahead. White preachers, black preachers, yellow preachers, and brown. Some of you are condoning it because your son is homosexual. Some of you are condoning it because you have homosexuals in your congregation. Some of you are condoning it because you're afraid to say anything because you're a boss. Yeah. Your employer is a homosexual. Right. You don't want to say nothing at the job because your job has this rainbow sticker. Amen. Or rainbow flag. Yes, and so you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah. You want to be quiet. Amen. Many of you apostolics. Amen. You have turned. And now you want the deacon to marry the trustee. Lord. God made woman, woman for the man. Did he not? Yes, he did. Now, for you that have trouble hearing, you, you, you come over here, brother. You come over here, just stand over there. Now, this is what God made. Come, come here, Sister Jennings. This is what the Lord made. God made the woman. Notice the difference in how we look. Notice the difference in how we're built. That's right. Are you listening to me? God made the woman for the man. Now, when these two come together, this is what you're able to do. Come here, Sierra. When these two come together, this can come forth. Get up. Come here, Malcolm. Come on, son. When these two come together, then she can have another one one of these. <laughs> All right, you get what I'm telling you. But, but, when these two come together, these two, it may be some friction. Yeah. But they're not designed. To produce. That's right. It is that behavior that we're talking about. We're not talking about your job. A homosexual got the right to be a doctor, a lawyer, a surgeon, any area in the job market. He should not be fired because he's a